Hello! I've done some research to find a few different free-to-play Ultimate Iron Man crafting methods. Today I'll show these four crafting methods and their XP per hour as well as the GP per hour and the supplies used in the process. This is my main account, just like in the smithing video, and I'll still be using a bronze pickaxe. In these methods I'll be trying out gold amulets which require 8 crafting, and silver tiaras which require 23 crafting though you could do the first method with holy symbols instead if you have 16 crafting. Okay, so this first method is an Alcarid. I'm doing tiaras first. Aside from 23 crafting, you also need 20 mining and 20 smithing. I've heard this is one of the best methods for trading crafting and free to play, but I looked around online and couldn't find the XP per hour. So I mine these 5 silver rocks here in the mine. I only need 2 worlds to hop between because they respawn fairly quickly. If you're mining silver, please only hop between 2 worlds to avoid crashing other people. I've had that happen to me and it was so annoying. Once my inventory is full, I just run south to the furnace to make the ore into bars and then into tiaras. Then I just sell the tiaras at the general store. They sell for 40 each. If you want more money, you can sell 5 or 10 and then hop worlds to sell more. Now I'll run back to the mines and keep doing this for an hour. Okay, looks like I was getting almost 11k crafting XP per hour, along with 2.7k smithing XP and 7k mining XP. I ended up with 2.6k GP, but I didn't care enough to hop worlds when selling tiaras, so if you're doing it more efficiently than me, then you should get a bit more GP. Next I'm trying out basically the same method but with unstrung gold amulets. It's not really worth it to go out of my way to shear sheep and string the amulets because it would decrease my GP and XP per hour so I won't be trying that out. I'm just mining these two rocks and hopping worlds until my inventory is full. Mining gold is much slower and tiaras are 52.5 xp, while gold amulets are 30 xp each and gold necklaces are 20. So this method is more of a money maker than a crafting method. I was getting about 4k crafting xp per hour and slightly more smithing xp than the last method, but I ended up with over double the amount of gp. Amulets are good for a mix of gp and xp, but if you purely want a money making method, gold necklaces are the way to go. Unstrung gold amulets are 140 GP to the shop, and necklaces are 180. This next method requires 40 crafting, a brown apron, an air staff, and lots of law and water runes. The method starts in the crafting guild. Again, I'm only hopping between two worlds, but still somehow getting crashed. Once my inventory is full, I teleport to Falador and make tiaras, and sell them to the general store close by. Then I have to run all the way back to the crafting guild, so honestly, this method isn't that much better than Alcarid. But I guess you're less likely to be crashed in the crafting guild because of the 40 crafting requirement. See you back in an hour! Alright, I was getting over 11k XP per hour this time, so it is a little bit better than Alcarid, so I guess it's only worth it if you have a bunch of law runes you don't need for anything else. I started with 1k law and water runes, so I used up only 9 of each. Lastly, I'm doing hard leather bodies in the crafting guild. This was a lot less AFK. I kill cows outside the guild and pick up their hides, tan them into hard leather for 3 GP each, and craft them into bodies. I was dropping them for more XP per hour, but you could also run south to the Rivington General Store for GP. I'm starting out with 100k GP and 1k thread, so I'll keep track of how many I used over the hour.
Okay, so I was getting 12k crafting XP per hour. I was surprised it was better than the other methods, but this is only with dropping the bodies instead of selling them to the general store. I used up 975 GP and 65 thread. I was curious how much the bodies would have sold for if I had bothered selling them to the general store, so I went to check. They sell for 68 GP, which isn't a whole lot, and I feel like it would probably decrease your XP per hour by a lot. So if you're staying free to play and have a lot of GP, I would do this method because it's not like you're going to use your GP for much else. Well, that's it for this video. Remember to play the game how you want, and not just whatever is the most efficient way, unless that's what you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, lovelies.